Kansas City? Where is that? Is it in Arkansas? Yes. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't. <laughs> what if we write a great movie script, okay, to pitch to Netflix? There's a character who's a disabled, biracial, half black, half Chinese, trans man with an IQ of 41. And how, how do they cast it? But that would never happen. Also, do, does IQ 41 people even exist? I don't know. I hope not. Probably not for long. <laughs> <laughs> people got angry that she didn't cast one of the autistic actors because they didn't allow an actual autistic person to quote unquote tell their own story. So I, I took this I took this phrase to heart. Imagine having this character, the the severely mentally disabled person with an IQ of 41, okay? Severely disabled. Are we allowed to edit their script? How much do we need to let them write and edit on their own? Are we allowed to proofread it, or You're is that whitewashing? <laughs> oh, dude. Is it whitewashing to proofread the scribbling of a mentally handicapped person? <laughs> What's, like, actually, like, the lower boundary of IQ? Okay, good question. Know. 83 is uh, a terminal limit. Um, the military well, is not mean? allowed to recruit anyone with an IQ under 83 because they are so severely non-functional intellectually that they could not be taught to do anything useful which is really bad. And nobody wants to say that. It's a terrible thing to say about people. So... I feel pretty useless to the world without being retarded. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're going to be like, let him tell his story, and it's just going to be a bunch of screams. <laughs> like, exactly. it's not actual words at exactly. all. <laughs> Any criticism of the plot or chronology or consistency or basic laws of physics in the story, that's now actually ableist. You're instantly an asshole. Yeah, how dare like you deny them man. the right to their own perception of reality? The person was so mentally disabled that they couldn't be an actor. They, they would just be spazzing out on set, <laughs> scribbling on the script. Those would be the scenes then. You'd have to make a movie out of it. Yeah, it exactly, because like otherwise it's whitewashing and ableist. <laughs> Listen, why didn't you change the entire plot for this gentleman? <laughs> it's like, no, it doesn't matter oh, if it doesn't make any sense, because he's mentally retarded. You still have a script for everyone else who's a part of the film, so they continue <laughs> acting, but they, they do have to, like, improv with the character to a certain degree, no matter what they're doing. <laughs> no. you know? Is it wrong that I'm thinking this might actually be a good idea? <laughs> it's like everyone else is, like, on point with, yes. like, script and plot points and acting, and then... Seth? Like, and it's then, a part of the script. And then you got, like, literally, like, Beetlejuice, and he's just doing his own fucking thing. Beetlejuice <laughs> Green, exactly. Yes, that was one of the examples I was going to bring up. Like, yeah, you just bring up <laughs> yeah. Beetlejuice Green, and they got to improv with whatever bullshit he's doing. Like, it doesn't matter what he says, they just continue the script as if he was writing, or, like, he was reading he the wrote. actual fucking <laughs> thing he was supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it's a completely different response to, like, what initially was said, but it's just going by the script so the story can continue. Yes. Yes, God. exactly. Oh this reminds God. me of, like, bad video video game, like, fucking yeah. scripting. Is this what boy conversations are like? A classic, just, hero story. Like, a, a kid like Spider-Man, okay? Like, super goody two-shoes, like, just helps everybody. Nothing morally questionable about this guy at all. Then the villain shows up and like does some horrible stuff, like murders his family, and just oh god, like the worst thing possible, just to set up like a revenge story, you know, to give the them, yeah, to give him conflict. And the this super nice character that's never done anything wrong, like he's so heartbroken and distraught, like seeing the villain murder his family, that he calls him a nigger. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> and then and then because because the villain provoked him into doing that. This nice well, guy who who said a racial slur once. He gets oh, wait, canceled on Twitter. Justifiable. Well, yeah, he like, gets canceled on Twitter. And then his bank accounts get frozen for being racist and he gets charged with a hate crime for killing the villain. <laughs> <laughs> 
dude, fuck yeah, put that to a short story, man. <laughs> yeah. Like something to amplify your voice, you're just directing everyone on how to do oh, it. Oh god, you have a megaphone? Oh my megaphone, god. Megaphone, yeah. <laughs> uh, like a set director. Yeah. You, <laughs> you start re reciting fucking speeches from like Hitler and Mussolini. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think that that would bring demonic energy into the orgy. That would I'm be so sure. badass. I think it, I think you get him fired up. I mean, it would work for me. Like if <laughs> if I was like if I was just in somebody's house, like having sex with a cute girl, and then somebody comes up like behind us, and he's just like he's like Catboy Cammy, like giving the Hitler speech. Oh man, it would make it better. Okay, but if you could if you could have like Yanners like doing the speech. <laughs> oh that my be, god, okay, that'd, so that'd be, be the best thing ever. That'd I wish epic. I wish I could pay Yanners to just like recite Nazi propaganda. That would be the funniest yeah, she would fucking never do thing. It, right? She would never do it, but oh my god, it would be so good. I want some yeah, cute little oo woo girl to recite Nazi propaganda for me for our content. That would be extremely based. That feels <laughs> <is what's> based. <laughs> Like, Bulin and V um, are just pretty much all the friends that I have, like, back in Arkansas. Like, I haven't really met anyone who's, like, kind of on that same level. So, Thank it's you. been kind of cool. It's very unique. Uh, a lot of places I go, it's it's very cookie cutter. You see a lot of people that, like, you know, you can't tell this Chad from this Jared, you know? Yep. And then, like, I personally have a really small circle of friends myself. Just because, the for the fact that people suck. And you really gotta find the people who suck the less to keep in your life. <laughs> so thank you guys for okay. being the people who suck the less. <laughs> hey. Yeah, yay. same. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's also really funny that you put it that way, like calling him Boolin. <laughs> when um, we first got in the chat today, his name was Poop Lion. <laughs> so it. it was Poop just Lion now changed to Boolin Lion. <laughs> yeah, it's much better. Because now I can actually refer to him, which I couldn't before. You didn't want to say poop? No. <laughs> poop, poop, poop. Oh, was completely what a, spontaneous. Like, what a nice over lady. my house, I got the mic. <laughs> and I just, like, type something random, just poop line, because I just didn't care if it was going to be anonymous anyway. But, yeah. I, I, no, it's a horrible name to have, not going to lie. <laughs> like, I can't even take myself serious with the name poop line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, can you live up to poop line? Sure. Can you do it? Uh, didn't get to talk about AB's name. Do you guys know what AB stands for? Um, AB acrobatic is. banana. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. No, it's it's kind of vague for me, honestly. Oh, well, it obviously stands for Aryan Brotherhood because she's a white supremacist. Which is how she got into this chat in the first place. Oh my god! Come on. <laughs> It's intense. <laughs> uh, Acrobatic banana. I'm just imagining and Aryan this some like Aryan Nation like Facebook group that like like V's in. <laughs> he just meets A B. He's like, hey, you want to be on like a random like shit posting podcast? And A B's like, bet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I met her in a group for uh, uh saving the white race. Right. Okay. All right. <laughs> One of the trad wife categories. This is not true. Okay, for me, they're racist. <laughs> I won't be judged for it. <laughs> I mean, people. I'm friends with V, so like obviously I have to be super tolerant of racism. Yeah, that's facts. <laughs> that's point. You just kind of throw the hard R in a conversation early. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, that was only for the script. It was only for artistic uh, reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it counts if you're quoting the character's lines, right? That's like right, right. That that's those aren't your words, right? Those are the right. hypothetical yeah, words of a you freaking wrote it <laughs> of a character who just uh, had his family murdered in front of him. <laughs> so it's okay. Yeah, it's a, let's say hypothetically, like freaking Ben Shapiro or something. Oh God! 